So here we are. If you can't tell, we're driving. What in the world would driving have to do with being happy? Well, stay tuned and we'll tell you. All right, everybody. Hey, it's Scott and Jeff. Uh, we're talking about happiness. How to be happy. Steps for happiness. And um, in this particular step, as you can see, we are using our GoPro. Yeah, driving. Because we're in the car. And um, one of the things that we wanted to talk about, about a way to be happy, is especially if you're, okay, you're indoors. Yes. And maybe you're feeling a little depressed. Now, again, this is, these are kind of temporary instant uppers. You know, some of the steps that we talk about cumulatively can lead to a happier life. But a lot of them, like this one, are sort of temporary instant fixes. yeah like yeah, yeah quick yeah. fixes to make you happy right now and you know that's a good point because you are never ever going to be happy 100 percent of the time i know that there's plenty of literature out there that is so focused on you gotta be happy all the time and if you're not happy all the time something is wrong with you and that is not true how could we ever know about happiness unless we knew about suffering or we knew the difference between right. pain and joy. So again, these quick fixes are going to help when you're in a bind. Yeah, and if that bind is self-imposed, you know, maybe you've just been acting like a jerk and, you know, jerkiness, things, choices that you make are going to make you unhappy. Those are consequences for the choices that you've made. And we all have to recognize that, that yes. happiness is kind of like the greased pig at the fair. Wee, wee. <laughs> so true. Happiness is that right there. Absolutely. You know, it's got a little $50 bill taped on its back and it's greased. And we're all just a pack of little kids trying to chase and tackle and grab that pig. Get it. Get it. <laughs> so that we can get the money off its back. That's a fully mature male. <laughs> yeah, That's like a hog or something. Yeah, anyway. um, it's, it's elusive. You, you, you know, you think you have it. And then you, when you do, you know, try to evaluate what, what got me here? Mm -hmm. How did I get here? So how are we going to do a fix? So these That's little the steps we that talk. we talk about are cumulative. But So this one is doing exactly what we're doing right now. It's get out of the house. And if you don't have an actual a destination like an entertainment venue or a hobby that you're doing or it's late. A lot of times you want to get out at night when it's dark. Right now this is, you know, noon. Yeah. Going to be busy. But just go for a drive. Yeah. Now, this presupposes, of course, that you have a license and that you're capable of driving. And even if you don't have a license, I got to tell you, my dad uh, was in the car business his whole life. So when I was That's true. 13, 14, 15, get this, I would go out and he would always have like a new car. About every six months, he'd get a brand new car. So, and he worked for BMW yeah, for a while, BMW, too. And so, so I would go out and in the driveway. I would sit in the car, bring out my favorite music, <laughs> and just listen to music in the Because the stereo car. is so good I in know. those cars. Oh my gosh. So don't so you bring up a, But you bring up a good point. There's a couple ways that you can go about having a nice drive. Mm -hmm. And one of them is no music. Just complete silence. Let your brain unplug. Meditate, pray, talk out loud. Sing. Sing your own songs. Sing, yeah, sing a song, make it simple to last a whole life long. Don't worry that it's not good enough for anyone. <laughs> I think when you get the chorus, just sing. Now, now, that, of course, we do that's our happy. trademark happy thing. Yeah. Not singing that song, but singing a song and then giving a tonal sharper you remember, you remember the flat. time when we drove all the way back from Southern California and we were singing uh, Which songs? time? I yeah. know. It, yeah. I can't remember how old we were, but he had to go cover the Holiday Bowl, and I went down to visit an agent uh, at William Morris. You know, who was thinking about getting me assigned on it. Nice, and the whole nice. way back, you know, we were... Uh, I, we didn't never, probably didn't even have a very good radio, no, or our tapes weren't yeah. working, so we just made our own music. Yeah. So just just go for a drive <laughs> with or without music. Sing sing out loud. Preach yourself a sermon. You know all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and that's the thing is that self talk 
you know, mostly it's going on in our head all the time, the self-talk. That's, that's kind of, it makes up who we are. It's sort of our identity. Gosh, you know, crazy. right now, yeah, the things that you're saying to yourself, you can fix that. You can make it more positive. You don't have to be right or wrong. It doesn't have to be about that. It can just be talking good things. Well, if you get out in the car and you're alone especially, we're talking about you being alone in a car driving, talk to yourself in positive ways. Get that monologue yeah. going and, and make plans. That, yeah, when that doesn't work, just do the... So we end on a bad note. It just makes us laugh. That's what we do. I'm sure you'll find that. Another thing that we would want to suggest here, and it should seem fairly obvious, especially where 90% of the world's population claim that they believe in God, is that when you're out driving, it's a perfect opportunity to try to communicate with that being. Because again, you're alone, it's fairly silent, and also because your mind is a little bit distracted by the driving, it's not as boring. You know, because any time, you know, sometimes prayer is just boring. But where you're going somewhere and you're seeing things and you talk out loud and you have that little dialogue with a deity, it's easier, yeah. I think, when you're driving. At least it is for me. I can, I can pray sometimes for an hour as I just continue to think about yeah. things that matter to me and that are important. No, I do the same thing. It's, it's a lot of fun, actually, once you start just talking your problems out loud. And I don't know, it just, uh, it, it does for me more than just kind of sitting there and thinking about it. It, it actually is a way of self-therapy, yeah. you know, and, and building up my own strength to, uh, in a way that can't be done otherwise. And the other thing, too, that you brought up, which, uh, we're talking about the trip to California, is, you know, we're primarily talking about just going out and taking a half hour, hour drive around your town or up in the mountains, but also road trips can be incredibly therapeutic. If you can somehow carve out a day or two or three or whatever in your life from all of your jobs and all of the things you've got to get done and just go somewhere, you have plenty of time to decompress, to listen to your music, to listen to your wonderful audio books mm -hmm. and other things, uh, meditate, pray, whatever it is. Those are special moments. Those are good memories and it helps you kind of just get back on top of things and uh, and find some happiness. So we're, that was fun, and now we're stopping the drive because we're going to go get something to eat. Hungry. But thanks for joining us for a quick instant upper, a quick way to be happy. Get out in your car, drive a little bit. Share with us in the comments, you know, little things that you do that can instantly raise your spirits. We'd love to hear from you. Like us, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, share us. Share us? Share us. 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 Share us.